What's up guys, how's it going? Today we are going to install Windows 10 on VMware Workstation 15 Player. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up VMware Workstation 15. If you need to figure out how to install this, I do have a video on that as well. We're going to go ahead and go to Create a New Virtual Machine. And we can choose the disk image by choosing Browse and go into our desktop and finding the Windows 10 ISO. I also have a video on how to create this ISO using the Windows Media Creation Tool as well as a video on how to download it directly. Um, and it detected Windows 10 x64, so that's perfect. And we'll leave that set um, as Windows 10 x64, but I'm going to change the location of this because I do need a bit more space. So I'm going to make a new folder here, go to VMs and hit next and the minimum disk size is 60 gigabytes so we'll go ahead and um, leave that as is and they can um, split it into uh, multiple files I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to save it as a single file and we'll hit next and we can customize the hardware if we'd like to I do recommend upgrading the RAM from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes at least because that is the minimum requirement for the 64 gig I mean 64 bit version of Windows and then um, everything else you can pretty much leave the same uh, for the display yep everything's already automatically set to accelerate so you're pretty good there um, we're going to go ahead and click on finish and then it's going to power on the virtual machine after uh, its creation which should load us into the installer All right, so you can see that um, we have the VMware version loaded and it's asking if we'd like to install um, VMware tools. So we can go ahead and uh, download and install that. And is it timed out? That's kind of interesting, but we'll check that out in just a moment. We're going to accept that because we do trust VMware. Now let's go ahead and restart this guest. Uh, actually, no, we don't have to restart it. It jumped right in as soon as the tools finished installing. So I thought I was just glitched out there for a second. Um, but I guess it just had to finish whatever it was doing to jump in. So um, yeah, just go ahead and install the tools and it will push you into the installer on Windows and you can continue the install as you would normally do. So we're going to click on next and go to install now. And just as a heads up, um, if you can't get your mouse out of the window, you can hit control and alt at the same time and it will kick you out as opposed to on VMware VirtualBox where you have to hit the right control. And then here's the serial where you would activate Windows. If you don't have that on you at the moment, you can just hit I do not have the product key. I can't talk today. And then we're going to choose Windows 10 Pro or whatever version you happen to be using. I'll hit next. Accept the license terms and hit next. Now here you're not going to be upgrading because you don't have anything installed on that virtual machine yet. You're going to go to custom and you're going to choose that 60 gig drive we just made. This is not your main hard drive. This is just the virtual machine drive and you're going to hit next there. And this is going to start installing the Windows Media. So this is going to take quite some time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this here. And then I'll fast forward and come back when it's done. All right, so it looks like the um, installation is finished and it's rebooted and loaded up into our actual installer. So we can go ahead and click on United States and hit yes. 
Uh, we're gonna leave it as the US keyboard. Of course, any of this you can change um, for your specific preferences or your personal preferences, I should say. And I believe um, this right here is just to kick out the virtual CD that we started with so it doesn't accidentally boot into your installer. So we can actually click on I finished installing and we're already in our virtual machine so that's fine. Now we're going to set up for personal use. And we can either uh, log into or create a Microsoft account or create an offline account. I'm just going to create an offline one for now. Um, again, it's going to try and push us to do Microsoft's accounts. We're going to do limited experience. Especially if you're going to be using um, or installing viruses or anything like that on here or anything that's insecure. You don't want to log into a live account. So I'm going to use test. 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 What's my first pet's name? Test. What is my childhood nickname? Test. That's what they called me in high school. And what is my the school I attended? Test. Surprising enough. All right. So we can. Um, enable or disable activity history uh, that's basically so you can continue working from your phone to your laptop to your desktop um, I'm not going to enable that because we don't have it connected to a Microsoft account I'm also not going to enable a digital assistant because I feel like that would best be used on your main operating system but you can of course enable Cortana if you'd like to so I'm going to hit decline and this is all your privacy settings I'm going to leave everything as um, on but this is basically what data gets sent to Microsoft. So you may want to turn these off, um, but it will limit your features in some cases. All right. So now it is booted into the actual setup and it will soon load into our login page that allow us to log into our Windows 10 installation. So I'm going to give this some time and um, we'll jump back into it in a bit. So it looks like uh, Windows 10 has finished installing and has already booted us into Windows 10 with Edge open. So now you can actually go in and use the operating system as you normally would. Um, you can start installing Chrome and all the programs that you would normally use. Um, but that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.